Hey guys, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. How are you? Welcome to my channel. It is uh, round two. I swear I am being a little bit later today, but I am delivering you the goods. This is the first live stream of the day. If you haven't checked out my video about Cody Brown and last night's recap for Sister Wives, make sure you check out the video um, in my uploads. Um, that was a pre-recorded one that we did a premiere for. So I'll be doing a little bit more of a mix of some uploads and some live streams, but I want to do at least a one or two uh, live streams so you guys can interact in the chats. Thought this one would be a good one for you guys since a lot of you have been following um, Kate and John and everything that's been going on with the Gosselin family. And um, there's been some mystery around Kara and Maddie, who are the two oldest girls. Now the twins um, went off to college this fall and with this movement, there was never an announcement of where they were going to be attending college. Kate uh, had, init had initially said that they wanted to have some privacy around this and not disclose where they were gonna go to school. This was all part of a fall what do you call it? They did a special that's no longer on TLC because apparently Kate did it without the proper permits for the sex tup or for the sex tuplets. So, um, but they did tour a bunch of schools, and during that, Maddie had made a statement that she wanted to attend a very large college. Well, yesterday she had uploaded this photo on her Instagram. She appears to be with a friend, but if you look at the sweatshirt and you look in the stadium and the orange hat, Maddie is at Syracuse. Woo! A very large college, which is in New York State. There you go. Maddie Gosling is at Syracuse University. So as I was doing some digging, I was trying to find a way to get some details for you without actually getting too many details. So I started digging around on her Instagram and was finding some photos, found some of her friends, even found out where Kara goes to college. So let's get started. So Kara was commenting on one of the photos and she appears to be at Fordham University. So Maddie is at Syracuse and Kara is at Fordham. Two schools, two separate schools, not necessarily close to each other, both in New York State. Um, a quick scan of her photos, Rosie Daly was the girl that she was pictured with in the photo here. She appears to be a friend of hers on campus at Syracuse. Now Maddie also appears to have a Syracuse account. So she's got her official page and then she's got this other account that is commenting on all of these different people's accounts. And you can see here, Maddie Goslin, Syracuse, Goslin, Goslin, uh, Syracuse University. And there you can see her commenting, um, okay, queen, go off. I love these pictures so much, I can't get over it. Um, here she is, appears to be in the dorms. This was with Rosie, and it says the best Valentine of all, featuring my new Peppa tattoo. So, Peppa Pig. Um, here she is with her friends on Valentine's with Rosie. This is actually from Rosie's page. Please enjoy my friends and I going crazy with our fourth grade Valentine's. Here she is with her friend Rosie again with Maddie. And here she is with a girl named Levy Thompson. Now this was the photo that she posted this fall where she posted best friends and Kate said, I love you girls so much. Please study hard. That video, that photo, that kind of went everywhere and everyone was like, Maddie's in college with her friends, yay! And then there's a snail that says kissing. So kissing snails, okay? And there she is again with Liv Livy on Halloween. They are dressed as devils, apparently. Um, and she's and then Maddie commented this on the photo with the kissing snails and says, "Imagine if we were snails kissing on a cherry." Do that with what you will. And then love you lots and lots. Okay, love. Why are you not the first picture? And this was on Livy's page, and she says, "Facts, honestly, would you like to address this?" So she and Libby must be really good friends. Um, and then her friends like to call each other attractive a lot. So who's that hot, hot piece of shit? Maddie says Libby. And then she says, yes, you're right. And she says, you're hot. And then Maddie says, no, you are, no, you. 
And Maddie again on Livy's comments, you're so cute, debut. And that was a photo of the two of them saying debut. Baby's first game, and she says, yay, and that's from Michaela Var Varvis, which happens to be one of their friends as well. Been waiting for this day for such a long time. Cute, love you, love the dome. There's her friend Michaela. Are you guys best friends or lovers? And Rosie Daly says, I don't know, because Rosie was the one that she was in the photo with. And there they are. So there's a lot of uh, people asking questions like, are these your girlfriends or are these your just friends? What's going on here? She seems to be having some banter back and forth with Rosie and well as with Livy. They could all just be freshmen in college that are having fun and being playful. Though I did Google kissing snails and that does come up to be part of something to do with lesbians, but that again could be them having fun. I don't know what any of this means. This is literally just what I found. So there's that. But Maddie Goslin is at Syracuse University. Who knew? Now she and Kara picked separate universities because they wanted to do things apart from each other for the first time in their lives. So this is kind of cool. It seems that she's met a good group of friends where she is playful and having fun with and going to basketball games and living the life. It appears as I was digging through some of her photos um, with her friends that some of her friends are in sororities. I couldn't find a connection of Maddie to any of the sororities. That doesn't mean she's not in one. Um, some of her friends appear to be part of the broadcasting school, but Maddie did not declare whether or not what she was on any of her actual statuses. So I don't know what she's majoring in. We do know that Maddie spent a lot of her life on t on TV, so maybe she does want to do broadcasting. Who knows? But she did say in the special this past fall that she wanted to attend a large university because she wanted to be anonymous for the first time in her life. So it appears as though she's met some people that literally don't care who she is, which is freaking awesome. She's at Syracuse, her sister's at Ro uh, Fordham, and there's lots of jokes about snails and who's hooking up with who. Typical freshman in college. Sounds about right. Yeah, T teen girls do talk like this. I'm not making anything of it. I'm just saying it what it is. All right, you guys, so that's the scoop on Maddie. Um, let me know if you're excited about this, if you're not excited, but I think it's pretty cool. It seems as though she's not being, she's being more bold now and wanting people to know this is where I go to school, this is what's going on. No word yet if she talks to her dad, John, because, well, you know, we know how that went. And Kate hasn't commented on any of her photos since the last time she made a comment about the girls studying hard and Maddie, someone connected to Maddie coming out saying she really wishes that Kate wouldn't comment on her photos. So Kate's not commenting on her photos anymore. So apparently... She heard that loud and clear. Maddie's living her best life. This actually makes me super happy just to see the kids like doing normal things, being normal people, not having to be on the show. Kate hasn't been filmed in how God knows how long. Doesn't sound like there's going to be any new episodes of the show because TLC fired her. By the way, I did some searching in the state of Pennsylvania. There is an open case against Kate in um, the county in which she lives in, which is Bucks, I believe. And she has an open contempt of court um case against her which is like a misdemeanor there's no word on whether or not they're going to move forward with that and do prosecute anything but there is an actual open criminal like ticket against her in court so um i wonder if they'll do anything with it interesting right we haven't heard anything from kate regarding any of the statements that john has made which is another interesting point so I just can't believe Kate's been this silent. She's not commenting on, Ka on Maddie's photos. She's not commenting on the things that um, John is saying. It must be eating her alive to have to be this quiet. Do you think she's like waved the white flag and revealed and like figured out that she's lost? Or are we just prepping for another TV show where she's going to do something for money? All right, you guys, let me know what your thoughts are and I will be back later. Bye.